Hello and welcome to this webinar on how to create a template. So you have been searching the web and you find a template that you like, um, either on the Facebook groups or just wherever you want to find one. And so I'm just going to show you how you can take one and create it yourself. Uh, so I have this template here that I thought, oh, this looks beautiful. I think I'll make one like that. So I right click on the image and then I say copy. Then you go back over to Storybook Creator to your page. And now you're going to right click and say paste. And on the Mac you have to say edit and paste or else do um, the command V to be able to do it. Okay, now we're going to stretch this to our full paper size. So we'll just stretch it out. Okay, there's our image that we are going to create a template on the top of it. So now what we'll do is we'll just look at the pictures that are behind. And so we want to put the photo boxes on for those first. So we will go ahead and add. So we're going to insert an empty photo box. And if it's hard to to see, go to the Format ribbon and let's change the opacity down so that you can see um, what you're doing. So we'll say Accept on that and then we'll just stretch our photo box out. Oh, hold the Shift key down so that it can release the aspect ratio. And then we're going to just rotate it so that it fits that um, picture that's behind. And let's get it just a little bit closer. Sometimes, depending on how hard the template is, um, depends on how much time it's going to take to, to copy it and to make your own version so that you can fill it with pictures. Okay, so now I'm just going to do Control-C, and then I'll do Control-V, and paste it. And then we will just uh, layer our pictures. And one way to get these straight is to right click on it, go to Properties, and change that uh, rotation to zero. Say OK, or Apply, and then OK, and you've got a perfectly straight photo. Now let's go ahead and hold the Shift key again and release our aspect ratio. And then we're going to do the Control. Let's right click it now this time and say Paste. So there's two ways, Control V. Or right click and then say paste. So let's go to properties. Let's change this to zero again and then we will have another photo that we can then uh, add to our page. And that one I think goes behind. So let's just add that one behind and just dragging it in our element panel over on the left. Now let's add another one. So I'm going to just right click and say copy, right click and say paste. And then we'll just drag this one down to the bottom and we'll get it lined up. And then we'll just hold the shift key and slide that over to be the right size. And then we'll just do a control or right click and say paste again. And we're just going to keep adding until we have all of our photo boxes. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can uh, make that one go a little bit bigger. Okay. And then we'll do Control C and Control V and copy. And then we've got our last picture. And make that one be the size that we want also. Okay. So now we have all of our photos. <clears throat> so let's just hold the Shift key down and select all of them. And then we're going to go to the opacity and change it back to 100%. Say OK. Then we'll go to Format Photos. <clears throat> and we're going to put a mat on it. And Change Mat. Select the color. And you can select whatever color you want. Um, let's do... Let's do this bright, or deep burgundy color. 
and then you're going to want to decide the size. Now, my personal preference is I like three. If you start going, that's the max of what I want to go. And then we'll just say accept. And then we can also add a heavy shadow all at once. And there are our photo boxes. Then to make this little uh, text box, you can either use a photo box also for that. So let's just do control C, control V. We'll paste that. And then we will drag it to the size that we want it to be. And we need to drag it down underneath all the pictures. OK, now all you have to do is just add a photo. And we'll just add this one. And then you can just choose a color. So we'll go to Cut and Fill, and we'll click the down arrow. We will sample a color. And we can just, um, well, let's just sample. We'll do that one. And we'll say OK. And we will fill that photo box with a color. And then, kind of an ugly it doesn't contrast very well, but anyway, you got the idea. Now we'll go and insert a text box, an empty text box, and then say Create. And then we need to size our text box. And we can go to Format Text, and we can change the text to be whatever we want that text to be, and the size. And then you can just type whatever you want on your text box. And if it doesn't show up on that color, you could change the font color to be white so that it shows better. And then if you want to add a background paper, you can just go to any of your kits. And we will just add. No, no, no. Let's add this white one. If you left click on the side and say make the background, then we have that as our background. Now all you have to do is hide the page that we copied, and there you have your template. So see how simple it is to create your own templates and be able to have fun, see a fun new page, and be able to uh, make your own page. So I hope you enjoyed this webinar and learned something new, and Happy New Year!